Nationals came to play. And you mentioned winning however you can. I mean, it, it might have been 10, 12, maybe 15 quarterback sneaks today. We, we took what they gave us, uh, a different style of football, controlling the clock. They have a good offense. They have some high-powered weapons. We want to keep them off the field. And we were able to ex execute our game plan and, and credit, credit to our defense. You know, they made plays. I mean, I, a lot of young kids out there starting their first Thanksgiving Day game. Future's definitely bright. I'm so happy for those seniors and Matt Severance. I just told him right there for all the for all the accolades and everything he does on offense. That interception on the on the uh, on the corner route in the fourth quarter. In my eyes, the player of the game that iced it all up. What a heck of a player! What a heck of a kid! I couldn't be more proud of him. Coach, you had so many the third and fourth down conversions on those short runs. That that just that that was the story of the second half. You know, we, we saw teams do it to us in the last. You know, and, uh, how do you keep a good offense off the field? I mean, how do you, how do you contain a good offense on the field? And I mean, that third quarter we got the ball. We didn't even score, but we, we drained yeah. the whole third quarter. And a lot of you know first, second, third down conversions. And then I mean, yeah, to cap it off at the end, I think it was the fourth down conversion we got at the end, right? Yeah. To, to ice it, and uh, it was great. And uh, what a way to cap off the year, 8-3 and three for these seniors the last two years, 18-4 uh, and four the last two years, uh, my first class, I couldn't be more proud of these guys. You didn't just say I said, did you? I did. <laughs> Oh, yeah, you know what? I tell you, I got guys over here, Matt Severance, a couple other guys. They got no, they got no sleeves on. No sleeves. It's on. crazy, coach. But, uh, but, but on the other hand, uh, tell us what the conditions are like. What, what does it do to? You can't catch the ball in this throwing weather, the right? Ball, yeah, throwing the ball is very difficult. Uh, yeah. They had the, we had the cross wind going today. We saw it in game. We saw it in pregame with the cross wind that it just the ball was just hanging up there. You saw one of the deep balls in the third quarter that that uh, their quarterback threw that just drifted to the middle yeah. of the field. Yeah. And I mean, so you know, we adjusted at you know during the pregame. I with the defensive backs and the defensive backs what a job by them two cornerbacks out there sophomores Taj Burt and Matthias Fowler two guys that are usually heavily involved in our offensive game plan and they focused on our defense that we an unselfish team and uh, they executed the game plan they made plays and um, they played the conditions I thought our team going to that ground and pound and stopping them on defense played the conditions very well tell me talk about Matt Severance again just kind of following in your footsteps um, the, this legacy you know three three straight Thanksgiving wins. What's what's his legacy like? Uh, his Maddie is um, he's the best. That's what I say. And I don't, when I say that, I mean he. Let's put it this way: he's a better kid than he is football player. So when you think about how good of a football player Matt is, and then you see how good of a kid he is, it just makes it that much more special for me. I mean. A part, it's bittersweet, right? Because a part of me now is my, he's gone. He's graduated. He's played his last game for me. But what a way to send him off. I couldn't say enough good things about Matt Severance. In terms of following in my, in my footsteps, there's a lot of similarities. I understand that. And people like to bring it up. But he's his own person. He's carved his own his own legacy here at Lynn English. And he's all hard. I mean, he's, he, he has, he's going to be playing more football. Uh, he's going to be playing college football. And, and his legacy here is cemented as somebody that's a, a gamer. Somebody that he plays his best ball on Thanksgiving. And I think that's a good thing. One last question. You talk about him, Matt, with the rushes, but what about Miguel Ramos? What a, what a game he had for you today. It was Miguel fun. Ramos, another senior. He is a tough kid. And, um, you know, on Thanksgiving, and uh, I don't know what the temperature was, but call it, you know, single digits. You need some tough football players out there. And Miguel, you know, he answered. He, uh, he, Call came, he answered it, and he, uh, he had to have a ton of carries, and he yeah. just grinded it, grinded it. Nothing really big, but he just grinded yeah. it out, and he got his, you know, he got his four or five yards apart, like you said, one, two, the third down, fourth down if need be, and he was able, and we were able to execute. And uh, good, for, good for Miguel, and um, you need to lead on your seniors in, in, in games like this. And we don't have a ton of seniors, uh, but the ones we have, they play well.